ladies and gentlemen good evening good afternoon good morning i honestly don't even know what to say anymore but folks it is game day at last and we've just witnessed our first period of hockey for the edmonton oilers 2022-2023 nhl calendar it's the young stars in penticton game one against the winnipeg jets and one heck of a weird period that was broadcasting wise okay i'm not even going to pretend like i run a lot of broadcasts in my life and that one was uh as they usually are this is not a strike against those people doing the stream for us tonight it's just as they usually are at the penticton young stars classic a bit of a mess right out of the gate so that's fine they got it figured out about four minutes in we finally got one clean camera feed and away we went we had a good old time we were watching a hockey game and it kind of looked like hockey kind of looked like the oilers kind of looked like the jets and we got to enjoy some hockey and i think i've got some thoughts for you here if you look and listen to them i think realistically right off the bat folks um number one i gotta say just, just if you're tuning in right now because this video will play back later on youtube um if you're tuning in right now how excited are you for hockey give me a thumbs up because that'd be fantastic to know and secondary if you're new to the channel and you're joining us a little bit later after this uh, game's wrapped up maybe consider subscribing i should have a full recap tomorrow night it's just a little bit busy today and tomorrow afternoon but folks let's get right into the meat and potatoes of that period all right it was a great first period for the oilers i think the biggest takeaway is just how leaps and bounds are above winnipeg that mr dylan holloway and xavier borgo looked like it is just unreal how good those two looked in that first period i don't know about you but that was one heck of a first period i think the first half of the period dylan holloway looked like the best player on the ice by a leaps and bounds and then xavier borgo you know what he drew that penalty that led to the power play goal but he was dancing around creating space moving things around with the puck and just really like again looking like a man among boys and he's only draft plus one this year so it's well i guess this would be draft plus two but still right and like just incredible work from those two guys two guys that we very well might count on for big minutes at some point in the NHL lineup this season and for the Oilers to get that in the Young Stars Classic period number one right obviously yeah you got game one everyone's gonna have some jitters it's the first time back in the uniform this year whatever I get it but to see that period number one out of Holloway and Borgo I even texted somebody earlier during the game I'm like man you know what screw it if they're gonna play like this all through camp all through rookie camp all through preseason screw it throw Fogel on waivers and let's just buck with those two on the third line with Ryan Nugent Hopkins what where do you lose in that I don't think you do quite honestly right you run Kane McDavid Pooley you run Hyman Dreisaitl and Yamamoto then you run the third line of that and you let your grinders go to work on the fourth line that sounds like a winning combination to me now obviously yeah you can't count on two young kids just barely getting their feet wet in the NHL to lift a Stanley Cup for you but you get what I'm saying is that is how impressive that performance was is that I am fully willing to blow it up over the top a little bit because it was that good now you move on to the other stud we're looking at Philip Broberg well you know what that was not that impressive of a first period for Philip Broberg I, I really wasn't jumping off the page about how good he was that said though um, I guess the only reason I was able to pick on him is because you notice bad things defensemen do and you don't notice the good things they do. I know he had some good plays, he had some great little just rangy right where he should be at the right time plays, but at the same rate too, I think he just made a couple bubbles with the puck that I, I didn't think were the right decision, but again, I've never strapped on the skates and played a competitive game of hockey, so I'm not going to pretend to know what the right decision against your own age of players is in that situation down there in Penticton, so end of the day i very well could be wrong on that and he could have had a very good first period but at the same rate too there's always stuff to nitpick other than like i said holloway and borgo wow that was unreal obviously the goal carter savoy the vision across crease to set that one up uh, i believe it's darian keeled that got the goal or was it uh came yet i think it was keeled uh great finish right one time across crease bang bang back of the net on the power play that's what you want to see and to see that out of oilers rookies right away right go to the net get down to the greasy areas make it onto the tape somewhere and put it in the back of the net that was a solid little get for the oilers right there too it's one one after one so it's not like it's a great goal and i guess we've got to talk about ryan fanty too 
not a bad first period. I don't think he was very much tested, to be honest with you. I don't think he had much action after the goal went in against him from Brad Lambert. And that one again was just a breakdown by the Oilers defense. Kind of got caught puck watching for a second. And it's not like they broke down entirely. It was just caught puck watching for a second. Guy gets wide on the side, drives to the net like Connor McDavid, goes around a defenseman and ends up scoring a goal the way, you know, sometimes Connor does. You bang it in just because you had the momentum and that's what that goal looked like against Ryan Fanti. So, end of the day, it's the rookie camps and you're going to learn from that. And that's the beauty of these is these are not problems that are going to doom these prospects. These are learning, teachable moments. Much so a big core part of what's going to evolve over the next two, three weeks here as we evolve to the main roster for the Edmonton Oilers. So folks, that's really all I've got for you. I'm Tyson. This is Stolony TV. That's been my first period thoughts. If there's anything else to add, ask me in the comments section. I might touch on it if I get a chance to watch all of period number two. But 